Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Go! I'll get my gun! So it sounds like everybody got caught by a zombie and dragged off somewhere. And then they're eaten, unfortunately. But at least we're safe. It doesn't look like there's any people from miles. Say out of your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, How'd this happen? I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Shit. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay.
Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, 
We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. So thanks to that, uh little conversation I had with Katya. She's going to be saying quite a few different things to me later on. I'm different from the other playlist anyway. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. To shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. 
Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Go! I'll get my gun! Saved up first, then go for Sean. about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. that ride to make it if you want it. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out the Walking Dead interactive let's play. Now if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a quick rating to let me know what you think about it. If you happen to stumble upon this video in the middle of a playlist and you have no idea what's going on, click here to jump to the first video and it will explain everything. Now if you want to see the alternate version of this video, go ahead and click here so that you can see the other choices that I didn't make in this one. And if you want to check out the last choice that you made, you can go ahead and click here to jump back to when you were able to go back and forth between the playlist. And finally, if you just want to go forward or backward, you can go ahead and use the annotations up at the top. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks again for watching, and take care.